Robert Blackridge, who's the, the head the executive director of Philip Education, and we're organizing for Start Week. I do. As Barbara mentioned, I am the lead organizer for Start of Week and the executive director of Joby Station. Let's scoot over to this tonight. <laughs> so Startup Week is really an opportunity for us to come together and celebrate all the incredible opportunities in our community, all the hard work that we put in over the year, and come together and connect to build relationships around the community. These events range from fashion to technology to business to finance to networking events. And it really is an opportunity for us to build these relationships, make these connections with individuals that you may have never met. And so as you come to this event, take a look at the agenda. It's on your name tag. If you don't have one, we'd love to get you one on your way out. You can scan that QR code and it will take you to a website that has all of the events for the rest of the week. There are so many. We have over 53 events this week on 14 different tracks that are highlighted in industries. And this being one of them, we're excited to be here, to be a part of this. I think Domi's mission, Barbara's mission, Women Wednesday's mission is to build relationships in our ecosystem because as we come together, we are stronger to create more impact in our ecosystem. So, with that, take it away. All right. Well, okay. Yay! Thank you. Our team is going to come up here pretty soon, but while they're coming up, I'll just go ahead and explain where Women Wednesday, what is Women Wednesday. It's all about building a collaborative community of women that simply just help each other to succeed. We all have different skills and know-how and things that we can contribute to each other, and that's how we grow stronger. But we not only grow strong in helping each other, we also build a better community. So that's what we're all about. And if you go to womenwednesday.com, you'll see we have a series of programs, um, and then we also have a series of campaigns that we're doing. But the way that this all comes together in having this is a team. So with Women Wednesday, we are all volunteers. We have roles that women can take on. And it's all about furthering our mission to, you know, to make this a great city for women where we work and help each other. So at that point, let's have Tamara take over and introduce our team members that are here today. Yes, well, I will go ahead and bring our team members up. And we do have a team with us also presenting today, so she'll be coming up a little bit <laughs> so later. So that would be you too. Yes, I, I see you right there, Justine. <laughs> and hello online as you join us. We're so glad you're joining us virtually. We will try to make sure that we can invite you in even virtually. We know that everyone can't be here in person every time. So we'll do our best to include and empower as many women as possible um, with each one of these sessions. So with that, Team members, please introduce yourself. Robin, go ahead. I'm Robin Gaitman, and I'm the membership coordinator. So the names that I'm gathering up there, my intent is to signal you up. Thank you for coming and to give you more information on how to join Women Wednesday. We, um, you can support us either monthly for nine dollars or yearly for eighty nine dollars. So it's an inexpensive way to help us collaborate and get us together. And keep this separate. Oh, yes. yes. And then my day job is um, I work for AppMax and on the Earth Magazine. So if you need a way to reach the majority of residents in Palo Alto, I can get you in front of them. All right. Just a few. I'm Justine. Uh, most of you might know me as one of the owners of Brown Boats Red Crackups. I also started out um, an entrepreneurship journey as um, Merck. So I created a digital marketing company back in 2018. And Parker recently asked me to co-chair the uh, Google Drive campaign. Um, and I'm like, um, is that Google Drive forward? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, perfect. so yeah, so we're, we're so excited about our team. But again, one of the things we're trying to do with Women Wednesdays is um, women come in, take on roles, you know, do further the goals of Women Wednesdays, but they also further their own efforts. So if you notice, um, Robert and Justin both mentioned because we want, we want to go with Women's Wednesdays, but we want to do it in a way that supports the women that are part of Women's Wednesdays and for the whatever it is that they're working on. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. All right. Oh, and I'll, and I'll quickly introduce myself because I forget to do this a lot. My name is Tamara Smith. You can call me Tam. Um, I have a background in a common thread of a nonprofit career that's all, all the way from education and higher ed to engagement and development. 
Um, and hosting is what I love to do outside of that and brand strategy and helping small businesses. I heard you just started your, I heard you're starting your organization. I love walking alongside businesses. So I'm building my own freelance services into a full fledged business as well. I understand that path and I would love to work with you um, and help in any way that I can. But wanted to quickly introduce myself because I am the regional director of an, an awesome nonprofit called One More Child. And if you're looking for ways to support the community to give back, whether through a diaper drive, supporting a family for Thanksgiving, Christmas gifts, name it, we can help make it happen for foster families, trafficking victims, single moms and their families, locally and internationally. So please come and talk to me afterward if you want to learn more. And that is my quick 30 second spiel uh, for a lot of things. So we're going to move on to um, our, well, we talked about our membership, and we're moving on to our speakers. I'm excited because these are two tools that I use constantly, and you can never learn enough about either of them. So are we ready to welcome our first speaker? We are, but let's, let's just say again, this event is going to cover for the Alabama and Google Drive. And um, I can say, like, you can go, if you know Google Drive, you can go to Canva, you can change the world. I swear, there's so much you can do. So. We are so lucky today. We're going to kick it off. We're going to get started. Looking at us. Then do you want to go to the introduce team? And we are bringing up. Let's give a round of applause for Jackie Brown up in the green. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Take it away, Jackie. Let me give you the clicker. Give the big button. Oh, no. Got it. Oh, look at me. <laughs> How many people need to create graphics or posters? Or Flyers or business cards for their business. Not everybody doesn't everything. Good. Canva is the perfect tool for that. Now, unfortunately, we don't have 20 hours here where I could tell you everything that they do because and then they keep adding more things to it. So this is going to be a very quick overview about the free part of Canva. You can sign up for Canva for free. So all the things when you start signing up that you can do, it's first going to ask you to kind of what is your business? And that's going to help narrow down the templates that it gives you. That doesn't mean you don't have access to all the templates. It's just going to give you the ones that are most prominent for your type of business. So most people come here to the small business one, and that gives you a ton of stuff. So just a little bit about me. I use Canva every day, and I am a Photoshop and Illustrator convert. So I used to use Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, and I still do for some photo editing or making a vector file, which if you don't know what that is, that's fine. Just let it go right of your head. Um, but for my business, doing social media marketing for small businesses, Canva is what I use the most. I create the content for people. I'll create their flyers, I create logos in it, I also create their business cards. I had somebody call me and say, hey, I kind of mocked up this trifold brochure, can you like make it pretty? I open up Canva and there's a trifold template, add her stuff and it's super easy. And you can download these as PDFs, PNGs, which means they have a transparent background, or JPEG. And if you don't know what that is, that's okay too. You can talk to me. So if you want to sign up for Canva, you just go to canva.com and start a free account. When you get to the point, it will ask you, would you like to pay for it by month or by the year? You can say, not right now, and just pay for the free account. So I just want nobody to get tricked into that if you don't want to pay for it. So when you first sign in, you can start using it immediately. It's going to create a team for you. Because one of the great things about Canva is you can invite other people to work on the splits for you, create their own thing and share it with you. If you're sharing documents or files that are graphically visual, like an infographic, you guys know what those are? Canva is a great way to create them and have somebody else either edit them for you or you can share them with them. I had a client send me, hey, I got on Canva, I was playing around, I made a logo, but what do you think? And I'm like, okay, let's keep this up. So you can do a lot of things with your team if you're a multiple person team. If you guys have any questions, please just jump in, jump your hands up and I'll answer the screen. 
So again, like I said, you can do it for free. You get a ton of free photos. If you do social media content or you're doing graphics that need a picture of somebody going, oh, ooh, or on a computer, you know, all those free photos, they're free store in the Canva. If you do the paid service, you can get a little bit more, more photos. Okay? You get a couple of extra features as well. If you pay for it, I think I had that on the previous page. Sorry. You also get storage. So you don't have to take the images or graphics that you do and store them somewhere else. But there's all these different editing tools and brand kits. If you're getting into that, you want to share what your brand is supposed to look like. If you need that for developing your business, Canva has it. So it's got a lot of stuff. Any questions so far? Um, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. If I can remember the magic resize. Yes. Is that something so if your photo that you just to be post on social media, it will help you resize it down to a smaller? If you have a photo that you uploaded into Canva that you can work with to create a graphic. It will put a box around it and you grab the corner and drag it and that will make it smaller. Okay. Magic resize is if I did a Facebook post on one of their templates and I want to resize it to fit Instagram stories. Okay. That's what magic resize is for them. Great question, thank you for asking. And unfortunately, that's only on the paid services. Okay. But I have surprise and tips you guys. <laughs> okay. So here's what will come up and they'll say, do you want to do it yearly, which is $119.99, which saves you $35.89, or you can do it monthly for $12.99. You could just go next, say I don't want to do that right now, or the maybe later button up there. So you can still do it for free. Don't get stuck on this part when you're signing up. You can do it for free. But who's heard of Rakuten? I know the ad lady has. <laughs> so Rakuten is a discount service that you can upload into your browser, Google Chrome, whatever your browser is. And it will find coupons for you. When I signed up for Canva, Rakuten pops down because my husband's like, oh, you got to put this on your computer. So great. Everything that you buy, you got to get a discount, right? It will pop up and say, hey, we have a coupon for Canva. And you can say 35%. You sign up for the monthly subscriptions, and that is less than the 199 or 1999. Okay, so if you don't have Rakuten, we can talk later. I'll help you with that. But use, your are, referral code. use your referral code, right? But it'll automatically click and do that for you. Okay, so we're saving money. Okay, great. Okay. So when you first get started in Canva, you can see like here is your. That's your profile. You can add a photo there, your logo, or anything like that. If you want to create a design, you can click that button, or you can pick from all different kinds of templates. If you're making a whiteboard for a presentation or a year end, like your CEO wants to record presentations, like slide decks, social media, all these templates. If you're making a video, they have a lot of preloaded videos that you can just edit and chop. Print product products. If you're doing a business card flyer, trifle brochure, that would all be it. And there's tons, tons more. They recently added websites. You can make up to five websites for free through Canva. I'm pretty sure that's through the pay section. I think you'd have to pay for that. I want to talk about the free section and to show you what all you get for the free section. But there are some restrictions. Okay. So, when you start to create a design, here's all you're going to get a different option. Okay, don't be overwhelmed. Whatever you need, there's tons of options. Letterhead, if you want to do a Twitter, it'll automatically size it whatever Twitter's new size is, which they update it like every three months. It's crazy. Um, and then who knows when Elon Musk can like change the size of it. Facebook logos, menus, posters, yard signs, cards, business cards, all that stuff. Also, they are great with training. This is when you first open up Canva, it will say, hey, do you want some help doing a flyer? Here, and they have their videos embedded in the system. You can watch their video and learn a lot. Okay? 
So don't feel like if you get started that you're going to like hit a wall. Everything will be good. Okay. Any questions so far? And then you can say down here like open a new flyer design. For this presentation, I did the flyer just so you guys could. And like I said, I could never get through everything that they do in this short amount of time. But I just want to show you what it looks like. So I did a flyer here. You can pick some templates. You can type in, like here's an example, real estate flyer. You could type in Christmas party flyer, anything that you want. Okay. There's a sidebar menu here. Don't forget this lovely more button. Videos, more photos, different kind of templates. So you can also save your things that you create in projects. So I work with several clients and each one of them has a folder. So under my like Tampa Laundry Company client, I have all these pre-saved templates. And when I need to make a new graphic for them, I go into that folder, pull up that template I used last time, edit a few things, new photo, download it and save it. It's the biggest time saver ever. So if you have multiple different projects, you can save them separately. Okay? And you have that one terabyte storage, so you have a lot of storage. Um, you can change the text. You can upload your own images, your own photos, anything like that. You can edit the photo if it's a dark photo that you took of an event. You want to brighten it up. If it's your headshot that you want to like make your eyes sparkle, we love that. Elements is really fun. It's different. Like. Um, it might be a pre-animated graphic that says sparkle, or it's a little box dancing. They're all different kinds of elements. Some of them are animated and some of them are not. But you can add some fun things to your projects with that. Okay. Any other questions? So let's talk about here. You're going to start with the template. And again, like I said, they're going to give you some options. You can do a tour. This is your blank screen. You can add a page if you want to. You can pull this up and write notes. This is great if you're working with a team. You just slide this up and then say, hey, Shirley, I forgot to tell you, what do you think of the blue color I chose for you? So if you're working with a team, it's really convenient. You can see all the pages that you created at once. You can see it full screen, or if you don't know what's happening, you can press the question mark right now. It's all really tiny, but it's all really there. And then you can go up here if you want to print it. They have some print options. They can outsource and have the print emailed to or sent to you in a box in the regular snail mail. Okay. I don't know how it is price comparison. So I've never had anything printed through them, but it is an option if you're looking for like a one-stop shop. Okay. And then these we don't need to get into. Of course, they want you to get the Canva Pro. This is your account if you want to look at any details. And then here is your title of your project. Okay? So this is kind of the artboard that Canva gives you to play with. You can take things and drag them over there. You can click and it'll automatically pop it over there. So whatever you're comfortable with doing. Any questions? Okay, let's do a little Canva. All right. Here's that side menu. I grabbed a template here. If you use a template, please watch out. Many of them have typos, and that is on purpose because they want you to edit it and they want you to really look at it. And also, right here it says www, really great website. <laughs> so they want you to edit it and make it your own. If you don't want this on here, you can click it and push delete. So lots of easy ways to alter that. But that is just a basic template again. There's hundreds of them. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, and I wanted to go back. Make sure that you put a title on your flyer. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to upload a file. You can drag media from Google Drive, which we'll hear about later. Yay! Dropbox, Facebook, Instagram, if you took a really cool selfie on Instagram and you want to make a flyer of it, more power to you, you just link your Instagram account. Through Canva, through the paid service, you can auto post, schedule your social media. You link your accounts to it under your account. You link all your social media accounts. Make a thing for Facebook, schedule it. 
resize it. Here's that magic resize that Robin was talking about. It's only on the paid service though. Magic resize it to an Instagram story. Schedule it. Magic resize it to a Twitter. Schedule it. It's very, very convenient. I love it. So, yes, ma'am. So, uh, cropping is not available on the, on the free service. Like, you need to crop a picture or a video or yes, anything. Yes, it absolutely is it crop. is cropping. Yes. It is. So, don't get confused. Mm -hmm. You can edit your photo and your media. Mm -hmm. That's not resizing, okay. or that's not their magic resizing. Oh. Magic resizing is when they take something in a certain size, the template, and change it to another preset template size for whatever purpose you need. If I like this flyer and I wanted to make it a three panel brochure, I go to magic resize and scroll on that menu till I find the three panel brochure. Okay. Any other questions? So I still have this typo, but here and here you can zoom in if this doesn't if you want to see it up close you can always slide this bar and zoom in and see how many documents you have all that good stuff kind of went over that on the other screen but yes i'm just going to comment you can also just upload files from your computer yes you could thank you for saying that because it yes. does say here all these but you can upload all of them just from your computer from your uh, download file yeah like that. And Canva on mobile is just as vibrant as it is on desktop. This is desktop view. Mobile, of course, is really tiny, so I didn't want to get into that. But you can do all the same editing on your iPad or your mobile phone as you could on a desktop. And I was going to say, and what I love about that is if I, I've had situations where somebody needed like my marketing kit or something, it was on my Canva. I could go on my phone and say, yeah, I can get that to you. Download the PTF, the PDF or the JPEG, and I could just text it to them yep. really quickly. So it's, it's nice to have because that. Because it's going to store your project, mm -hmm. too, so you can use it in that way. Yes. So when you upload a file, where does it go? Is that like upload a file and then it'll paste the picture there kind of thing? Or does it go into projects? Okay. It will be over here. So I uploaded my photo. It's up right here. And while it's uploading, it looks like water. It's like, hold on a second. You know, it's kind of like, we're getting your photo. Just wait. And then you'll see it right here. And then you can click on it to add it to your text to your project or you can drag it over yeah. and then you can do the same with video and audio okay. so one thing i love about canva is i uploaded this photo and i uploaded my logo okay you could then save those to a project file so that would be my initial social media project now i always have my headshot ready and i always have my logo ready no matter what kind of project I'm doing, I would go to that folder and grab those two images or icons that I needed. Okay. But what it will do is I went to change the color of this little square because it was a navy blue and it didn't match the color of my brand. So when I click this, it automatically gives me this. Oh, do you want to match any color? Apparently this is my skin tone. Do you want to match any color to the Jackie photo, or do you want to match a color to the initial social media logo? So this is very convenient. You don't have to drag your little color block. Find the exact one that will do it for you. So you would click that little square, and then click this if that's the color you wanted, and it automatically changes it. I have to tell you, this is a little frustrating for someone who went through graphic design in the very beginning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's awesome. It's and, and as a, like, in the 90s, I learned yeah, to exactly. Photoshop and Illustrator. Exactly. Just cool. like, this is amazing. And this, I'm like, that stinks. This is amazing. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. So, it's really great. Like dinosaurs. Yeah. 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 So, can I fix the typo? Everything that you see on here is editable. You can move it, shift it, make it bigger, make it smaller. On the last one, their image was really small, so I had a big old face, so I had to move it over and do that. When you click on an element, you can duplicate it instantly, and it will just give you another one. So if I want 16 of my faces, I just do click, 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 click. 
or you can delete it, or you have more options here. So we love that three dot menu right there, and more to do. Any questions here? This is like the very, very basic, and it can do so many other things. No, it's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's amazing how far it has mm -hmm. come that that anyone can learn a program like this and use it to the benefit of their business and, and not have to hire a whole advertising company for your own company. You, you know your vision better than anyone. Right. Right. And to be able to use this tool is fabulous. And when you upload a logo, I didn't take that screenshot. Like I said, there's so many options. You, it will give you this color menu. So whatever your brand colors are, you have that access every time you throw that logo on something. So you can just say, I don't know what the pink number is. I don't know what my PMS or CMYK number is for my blue. You don't need to know. You just click there. So it's really amazing. So I did also want to say, when you do all this, don't forget to rename it and then save it. Just because you did it doesn't mean that it's saved. There's still more process to it. So if I like my video face here, I can lock that element. So if you have a problem, like it's hard for me to grab and move things, you can lock the elements so that you won't be pulling them around all the time. Okay. How many of you in kindergarten did cut and paste with construction paper? Do you remember how you layered and then the tree would be on top and then the apple would be on the tree? And this, think about this as construction paper. Every <coughs> element is another piece of paper that you layer on top. Because see, my photo is on top of this element, right? This element is on top of my face. So think about it like that. If you get frustrated, I don't know where it is. That's what it is here. Just think about construction paper. And position, you click on that. So I've highlighted this element. Click on position, it'll say bring it forward, bring it back. Bring it to the front, bring it to the side. You can also grab multiple elements, go to position, and it will center them for you. Or it will left adjust them for you. Right adjust them instantly. Okay. It's amazing. Any questions? Who's our one? Good. All right. Exciting, yeah. So when you're doing a design, you can share it with somebody. Like if I did this, I could send it to Barbara and say, hey, Barbara, what do you think? You know, in the notes section, is my face too big? You know, you know. Only you can access it. So if you're on a team, you're doing something you don't want anyone else to know about, you can have it where only you see it. You don't have to share it with everybody all the time. So there's a template link. You can do a presentation. If you're doing like a slide deck, you can see what it looks like that way. Present and record if you've added audio. I mean, there's oh, just so What I mostly do is download, and then download it as a PNG, which means the background is transparent. It's great for images. If you're altering an image that's too big and you want to make it smaller, download it as a PNG, and then you can add that to any other kind of graphics. You can share it on social. That's what I talked about before. You can have it printed, and then there's so much more. I can't even get to how much. If you just want to send this to somebody and get their eyes on it, you can copy the link to it. So I've cut off the web page, but it sends that link to Barbara, whoever's like, hey, Barbara, I'm on the right track, and this what you like, without altering this at all. And she just gets to look at it. She doesn't get to alter it. Okay? Yes. Another question about sharing on social. Um, I assume there's a menu when you can do Facebook or Instagram. Yes. Um, and so if you have an, an image like that, what's going to happen when you go to Facebook? So this is a flyer size, so it's a printable page, 8 by 10. So it won't? If I go to share on social, it'll say it's not the right size. Okay. But if you had magic resize, you would go over here and click it and make it Facebook size. Save it as Facebook. I always take like the last two, instead of flyer, I would say FB or IG or LNK or LinkedIn or TW. So it tells me what size that file is. And then you would go to share on social media. It's not the best scheduler, but if you don't have another schedule,
schedule it for your social media and you want to I do it, I want to get it done, I want to do it. this is for you. Okay? But that is in the paid version. Okay. Only the paid version, but should resize the reference that you talked about. If you want some more help, I'm offering a special. I will work with you for two hours for forty-five dollars. The comfort of your computer, wherever you want to meet at Domi Station, here at your home, at the coffee shop in Florida, wherever, and I will help you if this seems overwhelming. Yes, ma'am. I didn't know until recently, but the paid version is actually free for nonprofits. I've been on a nonprofit for a long time, making it work with the non-paid version. Uh, life is. So much better than the paper. So there's a lot more features. Yes. You can pop up that 119 with a discount from recruiting, you know, which makes it like out of time. Math is not my thing. Mm. 80 something out. But if you can do that, the paper version gives you so many more options. But that's, thank you for bringing that up. But nonprofits, absolutely, you can use this. And it's up to like, I think, 15 users or something, too, with a, a team. A team. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Can you animate any of the features? Yes, thank you. We'll go back. She asked if we could animate any of the features. So if I clicked on anything, I would come over here and it would say, so you click animate right here, and it would give you options and samples. So they're little squares. They're similar to this look, but it'll say slide in. And it shows you some elements sliding into the presentation. And then it'll say, or do you want it to come from the bottom? And it shows you the element. So it shows you what it would look like. Okay? Once you pick all the animation of all the characters that you want, you can come over and go to share. And when you look at that menu, you go to download. It would now be an MP4, which is a video file. Another thing I talked about in a previous Women Wednesday talk was that social media, all the platforms love videos. So you can come in here and take your basic thing, make it animated, save it as an MP4, as a video, upload that to social media, now it reads as a video, and you'll get more engagement and more reach on your social media through videos versus a still photo. Okay, that answer your question. And you can you can do some animation on the free version, but you get so much more on the paid version. And you can have text. It could come up like a typewriter. B O O S D. Run, you know, it's like it's called typewriter. So it's really accurate. Yes, yeah, ma'am. If it looks good, if you're talking about video, and you upload your own video, and you use this program to help resize it. Not just resize it, but chop pieces out. Yes, so if you were uploading a video here, upload your own thing, upload a video, it brings the video up whatever size it is. You pick the size that you want it to be. It doesn't have to be a magic resize. You could just okay. say, I want a four by four square. And then from the bottom, you will have what's, what you know from Photoshop and Illustrator is called a timeline. It shows you your whole video. Um, Screen by screen. Right, I'm looking for a way to short frame by frame. On right. Video. And on each frame, there's a little tally bar. So you can grab this one and drag it here and move this one, and then that will be your video. Or you can move the tally bars here and where they test in. So yes, you can do that. And then can you upload it to TikTok? Yes, through the share on so social, so it's paid. TikTok is one of the channels. Yes. Okay. And then, I have a couple of comments online. Um, we have um, Brianna that just said, I love Canva. It's super easy to use. I agree. Um, and then we have Kiosha. I hope I'm saying that right, Kiosha. She asked, what is her contact info again for the two hours of training and review? All right. And I think we will have this presentation on the Women Wednesday Facebook page, if you want to click through. But again, this is so basic. This is like a fire on the free version of Canva. You can do so, so, so much more. So feel free to contact me. Send me an email. Say, hey, I just need to talk. I have 
I'm stuck, I'm using Canva, but I can't kind of do this one thing. Just call me, email me, call me. All my info is on the Wednesday, but I'll be more than happy to help you out. Because there are so many great ways that this can make creating graphics for your business like a snack. I just wanted to share a tip for me that I learned the hard way with Canva years ago. So they have, um, you can do business plan templates and documents and well, we'll call them PowerPoints, but slide presentations right. um, and things like that on there. Yes. But I've found that if it's going to have a lot of text on the document, that it's better if I do it in something like Google Drive, like a Google Doc, and then I copy and paste the text in and format from there as opposed to doing all of your typing in camp straight into Canva, just because it's so graphic, um, graphic uh, nature, I guess is what I would say, graphic design nature that, but it makes really beautiful documents, spreadsheets and, and slide decks as well. So that's just something I thought about. I remember years ago and it's advanced a lot. That's the other great thing about Canva. They're always adding and improving. Like before I, you couldn't do yard signs and, I've even printed my own t-shirts. I've mm -hmm. seen it. I wanted yeah. to make a t-shirt. It didn't exist. I ordered it. I made it in Canva and ordered it. And, more, you know, yeah. so, I mean, it's just like, it's always adding and improving. And then they add the trainings to help you understand what they added. So they should pay us, by the way. There should be. Let's start affiliate marketing. Let's start some affiliate uh -huh. marketing with Canva. Uh, to that point, you mentioned smart mock Smart mockups again is a paid feature, but if you want to show your logo on an image where somebody's holding the phone, right? It's a stock image, they're holding the phone, but you want your logo and your website on there to make that. There are hundreds of free mockups of somebody looking at a smartphone or a computer or a tablet, and you pick the one you want, slide over here, you upload your logo and you slide it onto the little pre built and it just pops it right in there. So it's amazing. The latest thing that they just designed is they will do AI graphics now. So when you want to search, not searching uploads, but if you're searching photos, which is in the more section, sorry. When you're searching photos, you can say a cat with a cup of coffee with a blurry background. And their computer, What's the word I'm looking for? Is there algorithm? Algorithm, thank you. I can make wizard. We'll make a wizard. <laughs> Harry Potter's in the background, and he will. And it will give you a cat, multiple options of which cat you like, which coffee mug you like, and the background. So you can tell it specifically what kind of photo you're looking for. Yes, I just want to share like a short testimonial of how like Canva has changed and has changed my business because I'm also a hairstylist and I was able from like, um, you know, people booking appointments to actually give them ex experience once they get on my site. So they're able to see like, this is where you look, this is what to expect and everything. And all of this graphics and all of it is, you know, my work and everything. I did all that from Canva. So, you know, it just did it from like, it's a different level Two to ten. Yes, awesome. Turn it up to eleven. Yes. <laughs> yes. And they have they have infographic templates yes. if you want to create that. But I know some people think of infographics as like explaining some computer thing. No, it would be great to say when you come to our salon, this is the front door. This is what you'll experience. Here's who's going to greet you. This is what we're going to do. Wash your hair. I mean, that's a great infographic. I just did that. Um, you yes. did awesome. I did on our website where I just yesterday created and I can actually show you um, a you know a little menu that mm -hmm. you can fold yep. so you can hand out even though that's kind of like not a lot of people do that but some people want something in their hand too yeah. let's be realistic you, 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 you have that. to know your audience and see mm -hmm. your age groups or whatever your audience and then you have to hand them you know not only a card some people but I have a dot and for more tech savvy people. And I'm, I'm almost 60 and I'm like, I have a degree in business and marketing and then we didn't have this computer. So we had yellow pages, we had, <laughs> we had, um, you know, billboards, that type of marketing. So this was very new for me. And my, my first go at the computer was Facebook. 
okay, with my kids. And then once I got Facebook, I was like, I want to learn more. So I really started getting into all that. And I have had people doing my marketing and spending a lot of money with them, companies that have given me garbage mm -hmm. yeah. because yeah. they're very generic with what they're giving you because they're going and they, they're putting us all in a box. Okay, we have the beauty industry here, we have the construction industry here, we have this industry here, but I'm going to take care of these thousands of people with this one tablet. Yeah, that's, that's true, that's true. They don't know our businesses, so we know our businesses better than anybody, so we're the ones that really need to be doing this. Yeah. I'm going to point out you know, something that you said. I mean, sure. back to start with the black resort. So I know a lot of us are starting things later in mm -hmm. life. Some are starting earlier, some are starting later. It's all good. Mm -hmm. And you know, we're, just, we're not even that unique. If you we're just, this is normal, starting businesses Absolutely. at all ages right. and learning, you know, Absolutely. things that you know, at different times. So thank you so thank much, you. guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, and I am open to doing a big session with everybody. It's just I think it's better one on one because it's your logo and your colors when we we do it for you. But the thing is, I want you to know, um, Jackie mentioned she gave her um, contact info. Oh, sorry, contact her. But with Women Wednesdays, we also have something called Canva. So as you dive into Canva now, and you, you if you hit any walls, you know, contact that people. Submit a question in our text web. We just go to winningwednesdays.com, click on our text web. There's a form there, you search the question, and someone will get back to you and help you. So you don't need to be stuck. And the other thing, Kara is sitting right back here from Domi Station. Mm -hmm. Move to her phone, she doesn't even know I Kara! Hi! <laughs> so I promise you, next year, Domi's under a lot of construction right now, although they're still open, we are going to just drill down on Canva and Google Drive. Um, so count that. And the other thing I want to point out, in case people don't know, the cool thing about Canva and Google Drive, I think Tamar said it, I use them back and forth. Yeah. Some things I do in Canva, some things I do in Google Drive. You can utilize it both together. Again, you can. I'm sorry, but you can, whatever, doc, if it's a Word doc, Excel, you can copy and then go to Canva, open up a text, and paste. It's super mm -hmm. easy. So super easy. No retyping. Yes. Yeah. And again, think about, does everybody understand when it says it's in the cloud? Because that used to confuse me. Like, what's that mean it's in the cloud? But Google and Canva, you know, those those are things that, uh, they're in the cloud, they're stored on remote servers all over the world, they're very much protected. But what they do is make it so that you can collaborate. Yeah, and you can access it from your phone. You can access it from anywhere, but, but again, like, um, Jackie and I can go in on Canva and work on the same thing in real time, and that's what we did with Google Drive this morning, which brings us to yes. Google Drive. So let's bring up our Google Drive, and let me just mention, so in it's addition so to teaching um, Google Drive, which is incredibly important, um, we're also launching a campaign called Google Drive Forward, and we're going to talk about that today. But the idea is we really want to teach women across the community how to use Google Drive. Just because it's such a critically important tool. So let me hand it to these lovely ladies who will introduce themselves um, and share with you about Google Drive today. Awesome. All right. Well, hello, everyone. Hello. hello. I'm Felicia Gilbert. I'm Justine. <laughs> and we welcome you here. Um, is anybody kind of nervous like this camera like Google Drive? And how are you feeling? Let me take a picture. Google Drive. Google Drive. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. Okay. Drives well, me crazy. I, I understand. <laughs> well, I want you all to do this real quick. Everybody please. You feel that beat? You can learn. Okay? You can learn. So guess what? Google Drive forward. Learn and share. I am so thrilled to be a part of this, and thank you so much, uh, Barbara, for all that you do, all the Women Wednesday team. Um, just very excited to be here today. So, uh, we already have several sponsors, um, partners that are on board to support this mission. So, basically, they have decided to link arms with us, and they are going to share about Google Drive Forward. 
And if you are also interested in doing that, you can definitely be a partner, as well as anybody watching online. Uh, we would love that support. Um, this is really, really key, just like Jackie's presentation on Canva. Learning about these different things in fundamental ways is going to help all of us. Even if you feel like you're a pro in it, you can always learn something else. Okay, so we're going to introduce ourselves before we dive in. I already mentioned just a little bit at the beginning of uh, the meeting today. I'm Justine Spells. I am the owner of That's What You Said Consulting. And I started it in 2018 after I spent a year with Facebook. I've uh, gone on and had clients all over the world. I've worked with um, musicians, publicists, and producers that worked with Aretha Franklin, Mariah Carey, and such like that. Um, but what I really love doing is helping and educating and empowering people to be able to do the social media on their own, just like Jackie does as well with her business. And it is great to see someone that can take off on their own and handle it. And then when they come back and say, I've gotten too far, I have I'm wearing too many hats, can you take over my social media for me now and take it to the next level? So that's the idea. Is also you have the knowledge to go back and go. I know what it needs to look like. I know how to do this, but I no longer have the bandwidth to do it all myself. I'm so excited to be partnering with you. I have such a lot Okay. Thank you. I'm just recording. She's got. She's okay. 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 Great. Is that better? No, no, no. It's it's just it's recording. Oh. Just sticking okay. on you. Okay. Got you. Got you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yes, I'm so excited to be partnering with you to learn more. Marketing is marketing is not complicated. So it sounds like you're the girl for that. And I am Felicia Dilmer. My website is FeliciaDilmer.com. Pretty easy. I am the founder of Beautiful Healing. And my work is all about linking arms with women at the crossroads of life and loss. There's all different types of loss in life. And um, the a loss of a spouse, a loss of a parent loss of hope, loss of confidence. And beautiful healing is something that I have been, it's a huge calling to me and I received all direction from a heavenly father shortly after my mother passed away. The holidays are coming up, right? Grief is a part of this sometimes, right? Are being around certain family members and things building? Yes. So books on sale, I have a Thanksgiving special. Go on and check it out. Very happy to be here to share this with you all. And uh, real quick, I just want to say, um, I used to sit back in the back of uh, Women Wednesdays uh, sessions on Wednesdays for years, and I was just always very shy and also dealing with a lot of things in my life. And but I could make it. I could make it in. And to be up here is super special. It's a super special moment. So just just know that. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So Google Drive Forward, you've heard a little bit about it so far, but really why this is so powerful is because as women, business owners, or a solopreneur, or if you have a great job, or if you don't have such a great job, and you want to learn more, you want to increase your confidence, being a part of this campaign is a really neat opportunity to not only learn more, but also share this with other women. I consider us all sisters, so share this with your your um, your sister that is learning about business or that is really proficient and can teach, right? So this is a great way that we're going to talk more about um, how you can partner and share. Know that. And increasing accessibility is huge all throughout Leon County and North Florida, but I believe all throughout the world, right? Because we've got Little Wednesdays. Uh, women from all over. So this is this is really powerful and the power of collaboration. We all can work together here. We're all in this together. So this is a neat way to just fan the flame of togetherness and supporting one another. Just another neat campaign to do that um, through Women Women's Day. All right, we've got our welcome. Okay, so when you go in to use Google Drive, it's a free tool that you can use. You do have to create a free Google email account in there and um, it'll give you the access once you set it all up and you go to your main screen in Google. 
And when you're on your home page, you can see this little waffle shape here. And you click on that, and it's going to drop down here. And it looks the same when you are in your email account as well. And then you're going to click on your Google Drive folder. And you want to create new unless there's something that's already in there. I believe this one is still, yes, yeah, this is Barbara's, I believe. She had it all nice and neat with all these folders right here. But you can just click on new. And then you can choose folder. No. So back. Do you want to hold the clicker, Justine? That might be better for you, I think. Which is the main button? Besides, yeah, the side button. Mm -hmm. All right, so you have where you can upload a file that you already have into the form or into the folder. Uh, or you could pick one of these if you're creating something brand new. So this is where you can store, start storing everything in Google Drive. And then it's, again, like Barbara was saying a few minutes ago, it's in the cloud. So it stores there. So you can be logged into your computer and then be somewhere else later on after you set it up and go, oh, I need that file. And you can go into your Gmail on your phone or your Google Drive on your phone. And you can move forward with that and just it, back and I just want to recap what you just said, if you don't mind. So think about it. When you get Google Drive, so a lot of times if you have Microsoft products or anything like that, if you get it, you don't pay for Microsoft, right? Yeah. So it's expensive. You get this and it goes free. So again, what you just said, you set up a Gmail. You just get Gmail, just free to get a Gmail account. Then um, you uh, click, like you said, on the waffle. Once you click on the waffle, then you're going to see it comes with this software. It's totally different free. So whether, you, like you say, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms, those are things, all those tools that um, they come with this platform. And do you, you want to say what they relate to, like Docs? It's more of it. Um, you know, it is similar to Microsoft, just like Jackie was mentioning, that Canva is similar to Photoshop and all the Adobe products in there. They have similarly crossed over. The Docs is going to be your Word that you're used to. Sheets is going to be your Excel. Slides is going to be your PowerPoint. Forms is actually, I don't believe Microsoft has something like no. Forms. It's no. just PDF kind of. Yeah, and, but there's a lot of other tools online where like, I need to do a survey, you can use SurveyMonkey. So it's actually just putting all of those things in here, and it's all saved in your Gmail account. And just real quick, I'd like to add, this is really <coughs> helpful for me in terms of I don't know if you all are very organized with your files. I've gotten better. But on my laptop, I have different things, you know, that different files. Okay. So different things I started for my business, personal things I write, because I'm a writer. And sometimes I'm like, I'll meet with somebody and I'm like, oh gosh, I wish I had that that particular file. So what I started doing was just uploading everything. And one of my friends was like, Are you sure you want to upload everything on Google Drive? There's always that person. <laughs> yes, I do. I need to be able to find it. So that's how it's been super helpful for me. Yeah. Who's ever gone into their email? Someone's like, oh, do you have that document? Mm -hmm. You go, yes. There's email. Mm -hmm. And you're searching, you're like, oh, it's in this folder. Nope. Like, okay, let me go search my email. Nope. Okay. All right. I'm just going to go to my Google Drive and I have the project folder right here. It's right there. And then you look like you have so much organization, even though it's not much different. It's just put in a little box over there for you, and it's perfect. I love it for those reasons, because I know where it's at. So from my Word document and my computer, I just load it into Google Docs. Yes, yeah, so what you do is you, if you've already made and created the uh, file, you would upload the file, and it would go in, it would transfer it right. in there. And if you needed to edit that, mm -hmm. it would be edited in Google Docs, and not, mm -hmm. not you could. Mm -hmm. Right. So remember the days of all the yeah. thumb drives? You no longer need those. You don't need to carry them around. I used to have them like stuff in my pockets and then wash them. Unfortunately, I'm not a person that I'll forget. So if you need to share it with someone or send it the file or the folder to someone, the upper right hand corner, you have the share option after you've created it. 
and it'll drop down a box like this first, and you can put in the email address associated uh, with the person, and you can list multiple people as well in that. You can see I click on myself here, send it from my craft house to my, that's what she said. <laughs> and you can send a message with the person here, and then you can choose, are they gonna be an editor? So that means that they can make any changes they want. Are they gonna comment and just leave little tidbits of, hey, you know, you have some typos in here, or they need to be this structure or whatever, or they can just view it. Those are your options that you can give them. Uh, anyone, you can copy the link to and send it to someone and give them access to it. All right, and then when someone shares it with you, it's not gonna be in your drive, it can be in the shared with me folder. So there's two different ones. They look very similar, almost the same layout on it. And this is the shared with me version. And you can have, this is like your recent folder. And then this is, um, you can have your folders, just everything that's been shared with you. Documents, photos, um, anything in there. And then this is your drive. And when you do it all nice and neatly, here's your recently viewed, here's your folders, and these are the Lucy Goosey's down here. <laughs> and something I'll mention real quick too is with uh, share with me. Let's say you're working with a, a friend on um, collaborating on an article or something. So if they share something with you, a file or whatnot, then you have access to it. Let's say time goes on and you all aren't working on that anymore, but you need to. I'm trying to remember the specific example, maybe you can help me out to see, but you might need, you may need a different, um, if you go back one slide, uh, one more. The one where it shows that, yeah, you may need a different role in it instead of, like if they made you just the viewer, and let's say you want to go back in and edit it, something that's been helpful for me, and you can go back now, is to uh, download the file, and now it's mine, right? Sometimes you may see that, oh, they're the owner, and it could be anything, right? I mean, it doesn't have to be weird or anything, but you want full access now. What you can do is just download it onto your computer and then um, make a copy, put it back in there, and you will be the owner then. So that's a hopeful thing. I have a question. Yes. One thing I've, we use Google Drive with our organization, with our board of directors, a lot. Um, one area we run into problems with is with PDFs. So, would you upload a document, a PDF, and then you go to view it, you know, it's not a doc or a table or a sheet. So, what do you do? Like, we usually just do this with Luminaire or something. Like yeah, that. it's not going to, there's not a 100% um, crossover with that one. You would, have to you have to move it into like the sheets or i'm not sheets but the documents um or you're viewing it as a picture is the other way uh mm -hmm. to view it there's not a great way unless you transfer it from the pdf it's hard to take anything from a pdf and work backwards pdf's like the final solid uh um, yeah, format if you had Canva on your computer, even the free version, if you get that PDF download it, then open Canva yes. and upload it, you could see. Yeah. It worked very well together. <laughs> All right, so Docs, like I said, it's going to be just like Word up here is where you're going to change the title on here. And it's easy. You don't have to do the save and then type in the bar up there. You just go up there, and then we have to recreate another one. You can duplicate it and then put revised number two or whatever month year whatever you need to do for the revisions and i do this this is one of my contracts that i use regularly for events at the craft house and so then i'll just put you know delta zeta which is my sorority event i have tonight so they had a nice contract that we went through and i just edit each thing differently and you know make the changes that i need to in there and then i download them as a, a PDF, right, right here in the next part. And you can do it as a Word document if you need to download it. And PDF, those are the two that I use mainly in there. Um, and that's what most people end up needing in that. 
Google Sheets. It's going to be your Excel like we talked about. You have your formulas you can create. You can store your data. You can analyze data and you can create reports from inside uh, Google Sheets. It's, Excel is kind of hard for a lot of people to do more than just the basics. But if you know how to like drill down into it, it almost all of that converts into Google Sheets here. And something that I use this for, me and my husband, we manage our budget, budget this way. Mm -hmm. So it's just easier to put in, you know, the information in. There's no back and forth emailing of documents. So it can also be used for some The other thing was that they can invoice. If someone says, yes. send me an invoice, you can whip one real quick with that. That's true. There is an invoice template actually too mm -hmm. on yeah. this. But I was going to say, I use it to make a calendar. And the different tabs are the different months of the year. And then it's easy to copy paste and all that stuff. But if you create like a calendar format. If you have your sheets that you can click on just like Excel, it really does um, read just like Excel. So it's great, but then it stores it for you in the cloud. And if you download it, uh, just like you would when, when sending the file, if you're not sharing it, some people still don't want to use the share. I don't know why, but if you download it and send it to someone, then they can, if they only have Excel, they can open it up and it, it transfers for the next part. Yeah, so the same steps to download, you can download it as an Excel sheet or a PDF, and you'll have it on your computer there. All right, slides. Just like PowerPoint. So that's what this is right here. It's built in slides. So it's easy, um, very intuitive. All of these things are very intuitive. And um, I know Excel is probably the one that gets people hung up the most because they're just not used to doing uh, the formulas and whatnot in there. But there's a lot of other resources using I, I YouTube. Okay, I don't know how to do something. All right, let's YouTube. Yeah, yeah. And I will go search for the answer. I Google everything. I find everything. I, I always try to learn the answer instead of, you know, sitting there for an hour wanting to hit my head on the wall going, how can I not figure out how to find this one little key thing that I know it does? Mm -hmm. You know, I always go, like, someone else has had this problem. <laughs> You're not brand new to that. I did want to say since you talked about Excel, if you're doing like an end of the year report and you have your PL statement or whatever, you could copy the document or the Excel Google, what is the Google Sheets. Sheets. Mm -hmm. No, the Excel document of Google. Um, you can copy that table, come over to slides and start a new presentation and download that table and create a slide presentation. So they all work together. They really do. They work so well together here. All right, and once you get ready to put them in slides, all you do is hit slideshow, and then you have a you know, little clicker and go through them. Um, now, Google Forms, this is the one that's um, probably the least known one in Google. Has anyone used Google Forms before? Barbara, before <laughs> So it is a, a Survey, questionnaire, online form, sign up. It has a couple of different things that you can do. A lot of times, they'll, when you go to create new, if you already have things in your folder here, there'll be a little plus circle down here. But if it's brand new to you, if you don't have anything, like I haven't created my own form yet, then, well, at least in, which one was it? Oh, yeah, I guess I haven't used forms in either of my accounts. So you hit that one and you can create a new thing, new form. And so questionnaires, it's really easy, very intuitive. Put your question here and then it gives you multiple choice, but you can switch that down and do check boxes, drop down, which means it's a fill in on there. And then you can change your settings as well. It's gonna be a quiz even. Um, and then it's, different uh, parts about settings or responses in there and how you present the information, how you're going to digest the information that you're getting from the quiz questionnaire sign up. And real quick too, um, it, doesn't it doesn't have to be hard. Like if you're not sure, 
what to choose in settings, just try something. <laughs> you know, just just get a feel for it. Um, I we um, have a form, two forms towards the end that you will see a QR QR code if you want to sign up to learn about this or if you want to teach it. Um, it was created in Google Forms, so it's really not it's really not difficult. It's just one of those additional um, things that just makes this easy though to navigate life when they come up to a situation where you need it. So. All right, and then when you send in the upper right hand corner, you're going to be able to send it out. And then you can choose how you're going to send it out. It's going to be email, is it going to be just the link? It's going to be embedded somewhere. And the ones that you see that Barbara does, they're embedded on there. Um, I think you, you put them on Facebook sometimes as well, don't you? Yeah. So she has them. You've seen them. If you've signed up for anything on Women's Wednesdays, you can use Google Forms. You just didn't know it probably. So. You're not completely out of the loop with it. You know it's there and it's you've used it, you've utilized it. And then in the same little folder of this project for the forms for the questionnaire, it's gonna automatically put your responses. You don't have to go to a whole other website, a whole other page. It's right here to keep them all nice and tucked in so you have all the data and information all together for you. All right. To get your phones out. <laughs> if you want to learn more about Google Drive and be a part of this campaign where you are a part of a class or a virtual um, Zoom environment, go ahead and uh, snap a picture of that QR code and it will take you right to the Google form <laughs> so you can sign up. Does anyone have any questions about Google Drive? No, no we have like four different. Topics in Google Drive to talk about. They're all very brief. So. Um, one thing that's been very useful for, for me is because I have the, the nonprofit Google Drive and then I have my personal mm -hmm. Google Drive. So you can create profiles and just toggle between them really mm -hmm. easily. They don't all combine into one, but you can toggle between them. And that, honestly, I think my life would be chaos if they all combined together. So, But yes, you can toggle between the different ones to go back and forth because I do end up accidentally downloading something into my railroad square craft house that is supposed to be and that's what she said marketing so if you do things and work with nonprofits or you have two different businesses just make sure you're utilizing that function in there I was just going to say a quick note about the QR code also if you just ho hover over it you'll see the little link little yellow link pop up and you click that you can fill out the form right away yeah, today on your camera so you open up your camera and before you snap the picture just zoom in so you're closer and then you'll see a little link pop up as you hover over the qr code just yeah, make it sure yeah. Anybody got it? i use google drive every day with all my clients and it's so great it just mix and match and you could like create stuff in canva throw it into the google slide and it's just a drag and drop it's the easiest so. So if you are really good at Google Drive and you're like, I want to teach, I want to give back, <laughs> go ahead and take a, a picture of this one. Um, also, if you want to share this opportunity with others. So you may not want to teach it, but you may want to say, I know several people that could teach, or I want to just get the word out, like our partners on the uh, screen earlier, the Junior League and Temple Fit. Um, go ahead and just take a picture of that. It'll take some form and you can go ahead and fill out the information. Okay. Would love to receive it so that you can we can be in touch with you to do more of this. All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. So just just to recap, just just to recap again, um, is there anybody here that that does, hasn't used Google Drive before? You just never use Google Drive with people. So again, just to recap, just get a Gmail. Do you have a Gmail? Mm -hmm. So you already have Gmail. You probably just never noticed those nine black dots on the wall. I have been sent to me through them, but mm -hmm. not. I haven't really sat down and played with it. So so do it. Just click on it and start doing things. You'll be surprised. If even I would create a form just for the heck of it. Even if you don't need a form right now. I think once you start you know, taking the time to do it, you get familiar with it and comfort. It's like, oh my God, this does so much. So back, I just want to go back just a little bit to 
uh, we learn Google Drive and a shared Google Drive. So the whole mission of the Google Drive Forward campaign is that we build an organic community of women um, who either teach Google Drive to other women or they need to learn so they sign up to learn. So we're really trying to amass a whole bunch of people who will teach them. What does that look like? If you sign up to be a teacher, we're just going to connect you with a woman in the community that wants to learn it. We're going to give you her information. You just call them and say, you know, look, I know you want to learn. You can just walk them through some pre basic things. Just get them going. So why does this matter? I mean, there's something called the digital divide. So you think about if someone's in poverty, but they just don't have a lot of money, um, having knowledge and access to technology is truly a game changer. But if you, if you live somewhere you don't have internet, you don't have, um, you don't have a computer, at least if you have Google Drive, even if you don't have a computer, you can go to a library, you can borrow a computer, you can do it on your phone. And so, you know, giving these skills to people, sharing these skills with people, um, it really can open up their world. So I truly encourage everybody, if you, because it technology truly can be game changers. So if you don't know what we're to learn, once you have some familiarity with it, you feel comfortable, then teach it to someone. And please reach out to just people and they're like, you know Google Drive? It sounds silly, but you would be surprised. I talk to a lot of women who just really don't understand mm -hmm. you know, how easy it is to use and it really is a big, big difference. So, okay, so that's that. So let me um, go to what's coming up next. So on um, December 7th, we're going to have Heidi Otway. And if you don't know Heidi Otway, she's with Salt and Mitchell, huge PR company that's just amazing. And she's an amazing woman. And she's going to do teach us how to get that 30 second pitch. It's so critically important to really nail your 30 second pitch, who you are, what your business is, what you're trying to get across. And she's going to come to set, and it's going to be part of our evening speaker series. So the first Wednesday of every month, we're going to be in the evening. And I hope we're doing it at Dolby Station. We're still trying to figure that out. Uh, so that'll be December 7th. Really try to come. You'll, you'll be glad you did. And then we're going to close out. Um, um, Jackie, maybe you want to say talk about this real quick. Yeah, sure. We're going to close up the year at Red Eye. Yeah, so Red Eye has had some exciting news. Barbie is now the owner of Red Eye. She had bought out the other people. And she is the only Latina coffee roasting company in all of Florida. So yeah. shout out to her. <laughs> We're going to show her some love, and her business is obviously blooming. So we want to just have like a networking world, and if it's a coffee or tea or whatever you like, grab some nauseous in, and let's just mingle and get to know each other. When we have events like this, it's harder to get to know each other and you know make that really good networking connection. But this is the opportunity to do that. We're going to try and do it once every six months, maybe every three months, every two months. Yeah, we're going to try to do it more because, again, another part of that. So, Jackie's ahead of our program called for Business Woman, and that's celebrating and supporting women owned businesses. And of course, you have a woman owned business here, and what a great way um, to have an event there and support that business. And if so, you want to be on our women owned business, if you want to bring us to your brick and mortar, or we can talk about your business even at a non brick and mortar, like we could do it at Domi or we could do it somewhere else, um, contact me and let's get that on the schedule. Okay. So this brings us back to um, if you like what we're doing at Women Wednesdays and you want to support it, you can go to womenwednesdays.com, become a member, and we're all volunteers, but we do need funds for operations. So people who sign up as members, think of yourself as an individual sponsor. It really helps um, us keep this program alive and, and do more and more for the community. So would you like to end things out? Thank you for coming. Um, I'm excited about the possibilities of, and tell others about what you learned today, what Women Wednesdays is doing, and why they should be a part of it, and bring a friend to the next one, please. We want to make this a number one city for women, and we're going to do that by connecting and sharing with each other and empowering each other with the information. As we get it, we give it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and one last thing. A car is going to come up from Dolby Station, and she has an announcement. So uh, just to take you back, I mean, it's not where all week, uh, <laughs> on all of the great Google stuff. So uh, Dolby Station is a partner 
with Grow with Google. So we have three webinars um, for the public. They are all virtual, so if you just go to Jim's page, click on events, we will have um, the link for you to sign up RFP for that. So and it goes over different aspects of how Google can help your business grow. Um, and again, these are all free, so I'm free to sign up. Yeah, but then the other thing I want to talk about is co-working. So every single Wednesday at Domi Station, which again, if you don't know where Domi Station is, it's at 914 Railroad Avenue. And every single Wednesday, you can come and co-work there for free. And one of the things we're really going to be working on is drilling down on these sort of skills you can with Google Drive, other technologies that people use, or just other information. And Domi has some incredible programs, so you definitely want to check out Domi too and learn what they have to offer. Yes, so we have um, some renovations that are going on outside and inside the building right now that they should, fingers crossed, all be done by January of 2023. So still are open and you are welcome to come in. Um, just know that parking is slightly limited at the moment, um, but we do encourage you guys to come and tour if you like the space. We are adding additional office spaces um, we do have a slight waiting list, so if you are interested in those, I would go ahead and come forward, um, get your name on that list so that you may be eligible for one of those sessions up after renovations are done. But either way, we encourage you to come to any of our events, and of course, on a Wednesday, we we'll work on Wednesdays for free, so we will hopefully be there next week. Yeah, and to me, I always, oh, wait. It's, I always think it's a, it's a <laughs> dynamic, don't mean it's a dynamic environment. We will keep meeting different people to learn different things and collaborations. It's a super cool, and you know, we're kind of holding off now just because of the construction, it's a little tricky, but in the new year, and all the things that are going around in that area and at that facility are really, uh, really great opportunities. So I'm very excited. Yeah. One last thing we always like to do at Women Men is we'd love to take a group picture. So um, if everybody wouldn't mind just coming down here real quick, so we can take a group photo together, we just so appreciate that. And thank you for coming. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah.